Hey everybody, how are you guys doing? We are going to do some painting tonight. Hope you guys are having a good evening. My day's been pretty good so far. So let's look at what we're gonna do. <clears throat> we're going to paint two things. Hey Debbie, how are you? Gonna do our ornament and we're going to do our Merry Christmas camper. Hey Debbie, tell me, can you can you read the Merry Christmas correctly? Have I got it, the camera turned around right? Hopefully I, I did. Okay, she'll tell me. I can do it this way a little bit like that. Okay, so we're gonna do, I'm trying to think what we're gonna do first. I've got my lettering here. Now, what I did on this guy is I uh, started with a base coat of red. It's kind of weird what, what I did on this guy. Is I started with the base coat of red and then of course I did my white. But under these two um, colors that you see right here is white as well. And this one I think is the sky blue. Let's see, let me get my thing right here. Yeah, so the door and um, the curtains of the little window are sky blue. So underneath that sky blue, I put some white. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Lisa. Hey, sis. Hey, Con Con. How are y'all? So anyway, started with red. Now, why didn't I start with white? Because when you start with white and you got to put red on top of white, you're not going to be a happy camper because it's not going to look good. So I started with red. Then I put my white on. I put my green on. Underneath this sky blue is also white. Okay, hi Anna, how are you? So glad you guys could join me. Um, so here's my Christmas RV camper and that's what I'm gonna work on first. We actually have two pieces. So normally, in most instances, I go ahead and shade the whole piece and then we outline. That's what we normally do. We're gonna do something just a little bit different right here. Because I've got a door here, I'm not really gonna shade it a darker color, but I'm gonna put some highlights on it right quick because the words have to be on top of the highlights. So when you're thinking about painting something, you have to think about what's on top or what's on bottom. And uh, so I want the words Merry Christmas on top of this um, camper door. And because I want that, I have to make sure I paint in the right order so my letters stay on top. Because you always want your letters on top. You don't want your letters behind or underneath the door. That's not gonna work. So, I'm gonna get a, uh, let's see, not a big one. This is a shader. And normally I don't use this for white. You always see me use the script liner for white, but this is a little different. This is the number 12 shader. I'm just gonna put some shading on here on this door right quick so we can go ahead and start to dry. I say shading, that's not right. I'm gonna put some highlighting on here, okay? That's all I'm gonna do right there. I'm gonna leave that alone. I just did that right now so we can let that dry. We want that to dry because then I'm gonna put my Merry Christmas letters on top of that. All right, I'm not gonna shade anything on that door as far as making it a darker blue. We got a lot of dark colors going on right here. I don't think we need anything uh, to make it any darker. So what I wanna do is we're gonna work to, uh, right now we're gonna work to work on our green camper. We're gonna shade our green camper. Using that same shader, it's a number 12. I'm gonna bend this down just a little bit to get those uh, bristles to go out the way I want them to. And I'm just following around this um, whole um, perimeter of where my camper meets my window, where my camper meets the cuff of the Santa hat. I'm gonna go up here. And I'm gonna come all the way down like so. Going around that perimeter, we always kind of start there. And I'm gonna come here. We got a little bit of a bumper going on right here, so I wanna wanna make sure. Don't wanna leave that out. Okay. We also got the fender. We don't wanna leave the fender out. So I'm gonna have like so. Come in here. 
Put a little bit more paint there. And just a little bit more paint here. Okay. And I'm going to come over here. And I am going to go right around this red stripe, if you will. Just right up to the letter C. That would be Christmas. C for the Christmas. Okay. So I have it kind of the way I want. I'm going to just put some... Uh, green wisp if you will think of it that way i'm looking at this and i really think i'm gonna like this a little better if i go ahead and i do around the door the shading around the door got a little bit off right there you can tell and um, i'm gonna do that come up here like so there we go I've got my blue door, I'm liking that. I've got my shading on my green done. I'm gonna come in here and I'll probably just kind of give it a little bit of personality, putting some wisp in there. And there's really not a lot to that guy in terms of the green or any of the colors, really. It's a pretty straightforward pattern. But I am gonna go ahead and um, do the red outline or red shading with the number 23. So the green is the number 11 green. Christmas green, and then of course I shaded it in the number 12 dark green, and then this is the sky blue right here, number one, sky blue. This is number 11, light yellow. Of course the white I think is number 35, and I'm going to do some shading on my red. I'm gonna do this. Again, I'm just picking up a little bit of paint on the corner. And I'm going to go around the perimeter of that hat. And then I'm going to kind of come up in here and make it where it's got a little bit of a, there's that tail part of the hat. I don't know if y'all can see that pretty good. Hopefully y'all can. I'm trying to look. Here we go. And I'll just go ahead and do some brush strokes in there of red. All right. So I'm going to do my red stripe right here. Put some darker on there. There we go. And I've got a little bit of it over here today. About like that. Now I'm going to, while that is kind of drying, I'm going to go ahead and work on my lettering. And I am going to do it in black, but what I will do is I'm going to make my letters black, but I'm going to come back on top of the black, and I'm going to put a lot of white on there. But I've got to kind of get this going so we can let this dry for a little bit so I can show you guys how to put some of that white on top of there. Because that dark, um, the dark red lettering is really cool. But if you don't put some white on there, to me it's almost too dark. You kind of have to have some on there to bring that out. And this basically spells out the words Merry Christmas. It's where the C and C cut those letters out, or actually didn't cut them out, carved them or etched them, if you will. So there's my C on Christmas. And while I have that, you know, I can come over here and just kind of start doing some outlining if, it, if I wanted to, right? Because we've got to have a lot of black on this guy before we finish him. He's going to have a lot of outline in black, and he's going to have the words in black. So we're going to come over here. <clears throat> and the secret, I think, to doing something like this is to put a lot of paint on there and make that brush lay down. When I say make that brush lay down, put quite a bit of pressure on it and your stroke will be wide. Obviously, if you want a thin stroke, you don't put a lot of pressure on there. But these letters are kind of thicker, which I think is part of what <clears throat> makes them cute. So, I'm going to come up here and do the word Mary. M-E-R-R-Y. So here's my capital M. I'm just, it's kind of got that broad stroke to it. So I'm going to make that brush lay down just a little bit more than I would normally just with doing anything else. See how I make it lay down right there and kind of pull it back up. That's how you're going to get that big wide um, stroke on your color. 
I mean on your letter is what I meant. I'm gonna make that brush lay down. I'm gonna pick it back up. Kind of come over here. Like so. Let me bring this and make it a little straighter. Now you can tell I've got a little bit of something going on here with a, 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 a <clears throat> part of my brush. I like a, a bristle wanted to fall out. I'm gonna lay that brush down a little bit to make that stroke wider. And then when you want the stroke to be thinner, you pick the brush back up. Just kind of a matter of going up and down with the brush is all I'm doing. You probably can tell I have a lot of paint on here. And it kind of takes that to fill in those big wide letters. But it's yard art, so you want wide letters so you can see from afar what the wording is. Now you can kind of see why I went ahead and chose to do the white highlight on that blue door. I chose to do that um, because I know that the red lettering is going to go on top, or the black lettering, I'm sorry, is going to go on top of that. I'm going to put some more in here, making that brush lay down on my Y. Part of what makes this really cute is that the letters don't really match each other. They're kind of uh, all over the place in terms of the font or the look. But I think that I think that's part of what makes him the appeal of this. It doesn't look so so uniform on your lettering. Okay. And because I have that black already out, I'm just going to go ahead and outline this. So much of this piece right here is all about the outline <clears throat> with the script liner and it's also all about this, the lettering with the script liner. That's where the majority of the work is to me on this guy. Gonna dot my eye right here. There we go. Yeah, tomorrow night Ashley's gonna be on here. She's gonna be doing. I do believe it's the Christmas truck. We sold lots of trucks, as you guys probably know. Trucks are very popular, so she'll be on here tomorrow night doing that. I'll be back here Thursday night doing uh, the dog bone and. A poinsettia. So if you want to know dog bone or poinsettia, check it out with me on Thursday night. We sell lots of dog bones, lots of poinsettias. And um, I'm going to be doing that Thursday. And then something a little bit different. We normally do sneak peeks on a Monday, but we've got so much going on. We're going to do the sneak peek Friday night. I say we are, not we, Ashley. Ashley, that's her department. I kind of defer to her on that. She does that. I always think she, she does a good job on that and she likes doing it. So Ashley will be here Friday night doing the sneak peek. Almost done with my Christmas lettering. I don't know if you can tell, but my black paint in this two ounce cup is 